When I was a teenager, I did not invite people over to my house because of- um, I'm sure you didn't, because they'd have been like, yo, buddy, best friend ever, why does your mom have 755,224 pigs in her house? Also, why is she wearing a hat of wings? Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to be reacting to She's Completely Obsessed with Pigs, my crazy obsession. <laughs> This just looks crazy, literally, because it's a crazy obsession. Of course it's crazy, it just said that arm, and that makes sense. Basically, apparently, she likes pigs. Let's see how much she likes them. Um, I'm kind of scared to see how much she likes them, because I know, I know when people get obsessed with things, it's, it's really obsession. Like this is, I, I don't feel like this isn't going to be, like, I, she has one pig. Uh, she might need, she might have 10,000 pigs in her house. She might, or she might just have a decorated with pigs. Decorating would be even weirder though. Like if your entire house was pigs, oh, nah, we'll find out. I'm gonna stop guessing. Okay guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification to turn over every single time I upload. And let's get on with this weird video. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Every night, millions of moms and grandmoms around the world read children's stories before bedtime. During the wolf on the roof, the third little pig was quick to light a fire. But for this grandmother of two, nightly readings of the three little pigs is a ritual <laughs> reserved for her own personal enjoyment. <laughs> <Wolf's tail. laughs> Bro, okay, firstly, she's not single. Secondly, this poor guy. Oh, he looks like he just doesn't want to be there. But are you okay? Look at the pigs! How did I not clock on? Look at the pigs! Oh, there's so many! Nah. Oh my goodness. This has to be set. That shot has to be set. The whole house can't be like this. That, that shot must be set for the screen was badly scorched. She ran from the house and into the woods howling. Because Sharon Reynolds is completely obsessed with pigs. I've been collecting pigs for almost 40 years now. We have over 6,000 pieces in our house. <sighs> over 6,000 pieces. Let's say each piece costs one pound, which it won't. That's 6,000 pounds. That's 6,000 pounds you could literally spend on anything and it would be more beneficial than buying pig ornaments, and pig teddies. Look at the pigs. There's so many. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh no! What? What are you wearing? Guys, she's got an angel pig on her head. She's got a peg with wings on her head. <laughs> oh, Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. Like, you know, you know, I was like, this, this woman's a little bit crazy. Like, a little bit, when I've seen all the pigs. No, she's not a little bit, she's full blood, she's gone. She's gone. You, you're on TV and you're wearing a pig hat. Like that, and like as if it's just so normal. Like <laughs> you have sort of just taken over everything. Her collection sprawls across the living room. About 15 years ago, we had it remodeled, and I said I wasn't going to have any pigs in here. I don't know what happened. Got out of control. To the bedroom. My bed. Look, I'm all for if you like something when you like collecting things like that. Yeah, great. I don't really do it myself, but. If you want to collect stuff, collect stuff. That's awesome. If you enjoy it, great. I don't know, collect things. But keep it to a little corner in a room. Like, or even, I would, you know, if there was one room in the house full of this collection, I'd be like, okay, it's a little bit nuts. But, you know, they enjoy it. Like, so why not? Like, let them do what they want. This is an entire house. The husband can't go into a room unless there is pigs everywhere. There's pigs everywhere. He sleeps under pigs. His wife wears a pig as a hat. Bro, this guy, this guy, I'm all about to death to this part, but dude, you can go. It's all right. We, everyone, everyone on the planet would understand.
What is that on the right? The hangy one. What is that? Why is it a... What is it? It looks like a pig scarf thing. But it's in a shower. Oh, look at it. I would be scared. Look at the pig in the middle. Look at the piggy in the middle. Look at the pig in the middle though. With the scarf around the, the pink one. It looks more brown in the camera or the video. But it's pink. But look, bro, it's so scary. If I was in there, I wouldn't want to shower. I'd feel like they were watching me. No. What if she's video cameras in the eyeballs? <gasps> what if she's like, okay, Arn, but no, no, let's move on from that. In there, we even have a shower oh, head that's a pain. <laughs> no, she needs to stop. Come on, bro. Like, it's unhealthy now. It's, 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 it's not unhealthy now. It was unhealthy seven years ago, but it's unhealthy, very unhealthy now. Right, let's, Stephen, Stephen, I'm, I'm interested in what you have to say. Let me hear it. Come on, Stephen. Explain, explain why you have not stopped this. I have tried to stop, to at least slow down the collection of pigs. I just explained to her, I said, Sharon, we don't have enough money for a bigger house. And you don't have... <laughs> we don't have enough money for a bigger house. The one reason they would get it is to fit her pig collection. As a husband and as a wife, you were meant to support each other, 100%. It's a two-way street of support. For example, if she wanted to collect some pigs, I would be like, okay, a little bit weird, but you like pigs. I will, yes, collect some pigs, that's no problem. Have pigs in the house, that's fine. Not real life pigs, keep them outside if you have any. I wonder if she got real pigs, I'm interested now. That being said, if I am your husband and I get to the point and I'm like, yo, you've collected a hundred pieces of pig. A <laughs> hundred pieces of pig, stop, we're done. You can else trade some in and get some to replace if you want, but we are not adding to the collection, we are keeping it at this size. If she said no and kept buying stuff, I'm sorry, but how could you deal with that? I, your bank card, I'm, I'm cutting it, it's gone. Nope, I'm taking all the money, I'm keeping it, you are not allowed to hold money, because you clearly are not seeing enough to spend it on things we need, you're just going to buy more pigs. No, Stephen, come on, you got this. You can tell her, you can tell her. That you can't get any more pigs, bro. Enough wall space left. I do have ceilings still that I can put stuff on. <laughs> but my husband might think I was a little nuts. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't think you're nuts. He knows you are. Like we all do. This is like You can't say he might think I'm a little nuts when you've a peg on your head that's got wings. You can't say that. This video, I'm 1 minute and 31 seconds in, and I'm so upset. He might tell his co-workers that his wife has done slipped over the edge. Oh, you're halfway down <laughs> the, the edge. Thing. You haven't just slipped. You're, you're balling. Sharon spends up you to don't... 15 hours a week. <laughs> She's got a pig mice. She's got a pig mice. OK, I need to stop pausing. I'm just getting distracted by everything. Searching for swine on her computer or in stores to add to her growing collection. I think about my collection every hour when I'm out shopping, looking at things. If I find a pig, got to have it. A lot of times they're not big expenses, but it's kind of like getting pelted to death with popcorn. <laughs> Over a period of time, if you have $105 pigs, it's still $500. With the sheer number of pigs in her house. Like, he's right. It all adds up. They could have went on so many lovely holidays. They have done so many lovely things with all the money she has spent on pigs. Sharon spends up to two hours daily compulsively cleaning her massive collection. Dirty little pigs. Ew, did you hear the way she said that? Ugh. Ugh. You're creeping me out, woman. When I was a teenager, I did not invite people over to my house because of... Oh, I'm sure you didn't, because they'd have been like, yo, buddy. Best friend ever. Why does your mom have 755,224 pigs in her house? Also, why is she wearing the hot wings? Sorry. Sorry. Carried away. The pigs. As I've gotten older, I embrace it. There's, there's a little bit of crazy in everybody in our family. You got your Heine print right there on the shelf. Sharon's love affair started in 1973 when she met her first real pig. I used to. <laughs> when she met her first real pig. I feel like this was like, if they could have just avoided her ever meeting pigs, we'd have been fine. Like as if, 
We should have probably found something else. She'd have probably collected 7,000 frogs or something. I don't know. She'd have, she'd have seen a frog and been like, oh, oh, oh my gosh, I love them. And they would have been something else. It wouldn't have been the, well. Ah, look what I just seen. Look at the mask at the back left corner, bro. Okay, that's terrifying. That's like a Halloween costume, dude. Nah. To work as a teacher's aide in a kindergarten. And the teacher one day brought a pig in and had it in a playpen. And she said, it'll be up to you to take care of it. And I said, well, I don't mind. I kind of liked pigs. That year for Christmas, I got my first two pigs. And then I got obsessed and started looking. Every time I go somewhere, I look for a pig. <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> For years, Sharon's family has tolerated her obsession with pigs, but she's about to push their boundaries to a new level. Does anyone in your family have- She's getting the pig! She's getting the pig! No! Don't do it! Any known allergies to pigs, no? No. <laughs> After months of research, Sharon has decided to fulfill a dream she's had since the age of 23, to adopt a real live pig. I'm just surprised it's taken her this long to actually adopt a pig. Like she wandered from she was 23, she now looks over 50, over maybe maybe 60. How, how, how have you not got it already? Like you're this, you're this crazy. You've got a house full of pigs. Maybe your husband's just been like no to lie, and then you force him to say yes by bringing a TV crew into the house. So they shove it in his face, and he has to be like, uh, yeah. So that's probably what happened. Yep, that's definitely what happened. Everyone in agreement in the decision with adopting a pig. Are you real sure about this? <laughs> oh, I like this man. I'm sorry, sir. I, you don't deserve this. You don't. You're a nice. You seem. You seem very nice. You're very. You're very patient. That would be the word. Sir. Well, you have to be sure too. You're the daddy. Well, I'm sure that you're sure. I'm not really excited about having Sharon have a real pig in the house. She would have to deal with it. Okay, I'm putting yes. That means you said yes. Don't think that's what that means. He didn't say it. Did he ever say yes? Has he said, has he once in this video been like, mm-hmm? No, 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 no. Even if he went, mm-hmm, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'll let him go. He hasn't even nodded his head in this direction. It's always been, uh, kind of, I think it's what you want. I don't think it's what I want, but you kind of want it. I know you do. You've made your mind. Like, it's all you. You're being selfish here. You're being selfish. You've got 7,000 ornaments. Let the man not have a pig walking around his house. Do you have adequate time to love for love and affection? Yes. yes. For the pig, not the husband. Yes. <sighs> okay, now she's... She's, she's annoying me. She's annoying me. She's annoying me. This man has got cameras in his face. He does not want a pig. He is sick and tired. You can see the pain and death in his eyes. He is not going to survive much longer. If you keep treating him like this, he's going to be like, you know what? You know what? Nah. I'm out. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait for the piggy to come. Sharon has been preparing for the impending arrival of her new baby pig. Whether it's a boy or a girl, I don't care. I'm going to name it Sally. She's completely pig-proofed her house. Keep that little piggy away from the sockets. And even built a special home for the piglet in her backyard. It was inspired by the book, Three Little Pigs. I like that story a whole lot, so I thought that Sally should have a ch I mean, what? Why did you need to buy three houses? That's more money. You're getting a pig. It needs one house, not three houses. I don't even have three houses. Why would I have three houses? I... How she wants to live in. I've been waiting for this baby as long as I waited for my other kids. We are going shopping to a baby store to find some things for the piggy to wear. I love to dress my dogs, and I'm sure that I'm going to love even more. No! No, 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 no. She's put hats, pig hats, on a dog. Does she eat bacon? I love bacon. Bacon and a sandwich. That I'm gonna love even more dressing my pig. 
So I am really excited about going to the store and finding all kinds of cute little things to put on a little piggy. We are looking for a swaddling cloth, maybe, and okay. a t-shirt. Were you looking for someone in particular? Well, we're going to get a baby pig. Baby pig? <laughs> yes, a baby pig. <laughs> OK. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? Yeah. That'll be cute for your new pig. That's a pretty good size, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, that's big. That was the first time I heard that. Uh, someone was shopping for gifts for a pig. <laughs> Congratulations and well, good luck with you. your new baby pig. Thank, thank you very you. much. That woman's lovely. She is a brilliant store clerk. She is lovely. Lovely smile. Just smile and nod. <laughs> She's in mental. What about give her the stuff? <laughs> Money for me. You take the stuff. Get out of my store. Bye bye. Yeah, lovely clerk. I like her.